Now, the next set of um, new features and enhancements I'm going to be talking about is uh, simulation. We made several improvements and added new features in simulation. And to uh, demonstrate these, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring in a part so we can take a look at it in our standalone Visual CAD CAM. So I'm going to go back to the part we looked at earlier today, uh, which is the feature-based machining part. We did some toolpaths on it. Now, one of the things I want to point out in the simulation, uh, one of the enhancements, is when you look at the simulation preferences, we've now added display for silhouette and sharp edges. So as you enable those under simulation preferences, and when you look at your stock, you'll notice that the silhouette and the sharp edges are now being displayed in your stock geometry. And as you simulate these operations, you will notice them as well in your simulation. So you'll notice those silhouette and the sharp edges appear in your simulation. So this makes the visualization a lot nicer, a lot easier for you to identify those sharp edges in your simulation. As you see it on those pockets right there, it'll display silhouette and sharp edges. So this is one of the many improvements that has gone into our uh, simulation. And this is available starting with our standard configuration. If you have standard, expert, pro, or premium, you could take advantage of this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the simulation in here and run it through N. Now, one of the other nicer improvements I could talk about in the simulation is being able to assign colors for the cut material simulation. So the colors can be assigned either based on your operation. So when you right click on a machining operation and then select properties, you now have the ability to assign a color for the simulation. So for each of the machining operations that you program, you could right click on it and go to properties and specify a color for it. So these colors should be uh, displayed during cut material simulation. Now once you assign these colors, you can enable them in your simulate tab under the status bar you have this option in here you can set either to apply the color based on the machining operation that you set in the properties or you could even assign color uh, for you know for each of the tools that you define so if you go into your tool definition in here you'll notice that you have the option to set the cut material color for simulation now as I have set colors for each of these machining operations I'm going to choose by mop which is machining operation and now when you select the setup and then run your simulation you will now notice that the cut material simulation colors are being applied for each of the operations that you specified and this makes your visualization much nicer as you program toolpaths different types of machining operations and again these features are available starting with our standard configurations. If you have standard, expert, pro, and premium, you can take advantage of all of these nice new features and enhancements. As you can notice here, the colors have been assigned for each of the operation, facing, pocketing, hole pocketing and profiling. We've also added one very nice enhancement for simulation. Now as you notice in this uh, profiling operation here, you're able to see these remnants that are being left on the stock material. So in 2017, you now have an option to remove remnants during simulation. So when you select 
remove remnants during simulation, this will automatically remove those remnants when you run a simulation. So you notice that when I toggle the remove remnants option, it automatically cleared out those remnants. If I go back and perform the simulation again, you will notice that once the simulation is through, those remnants will be automatically removed from your stock material. Now these options, as I mentioned earlier, are available in our mill module starting with the standard configuration. Now I would also like to go ahead and show you one very nice enhancement. Uh, we made improvements to machine tool simulation as well. And this is available in pro and premium configurations. And we've added newer machine tool models to the list of uh, existing list of machine tools. So as you go ahead and select your machine, you can choose load from file and you can select your current machine tool. And the list of machines have been enhanced with newer machine tools in here. So I'm going to pick a generic CNC router for this example. And in the simulate tab, you can toggle the display of machine tool visibility. And as you simulate your machining operations, you can now have the machine tool displayed as well. So this shows your machine tool simulation and there have been numerous enhancements to the machine tool simulation from previous releases. You could zoom in and zoom out while it's simulating. So there's your pocket operation.